I will be exclusively talking about Kumo today. And so that's why on this chart, I'm just only showing the Kumo here. Up Kumo and down Kumo. And also the candlesticks and that's it. Basically. And this is the Euro data in daily chart because why I try to explain about Kumo today is because first of all, people ask about Kumo. How does it work? And also, what do you use it for? And also, how can you trade with the Kumo is the one of the biggest questions, right? There are actually a few functions, but to make it short, one of the things about Kumo, what's good about Kumo is actually to capture the trend, the trend direction, whether the market is trend or the range. And that's the Ichimoku Kumo is very good at capturing the market situation in terms of the trend or the range consolidation. So for example, on this chart, uh, this is the Euro data daily and all right, let me scroll to the le uh, the most recent chart here. So this is currently uh, right now, I just want you to look at the angle of the Kumo, right? Uh, just forget about down Kumo, up Kumo or Senko span, one or two, A, B, whatever, all the calculations, just forget about it and just focus on the Kumo, the angle. And if you look at the market and if you look at the Kumo right now, is it moving up or down? Or horizontal which one do you think right now the kumo in this uh euro dollar daily chart do you think the kumo is moving up or down or a range what is your call all right so what do you think the kumo is up or down or range it's either one of these threes right the market is either going up or down or a range basically it's going up or down technically but in terms of kumo if you look at it it's either up or down or horizontal okay i've got a few calls here range range up range range up so again i'm asking you if the kumo right now is moving up or down or horizontal which one do you think is my question kumo down into the range okay okay so pretty much everybody thinks it's a range right so yeah you're right you're right it's in the range because kumo is horizontal uh right here right right here it's horizontal so when the kumo is horizontal you can visually identify that it's the market is in the range right now so if you look at the candlestick pattern it might look like uh, you know higher low and slightly like higher high here maybe looks like it's uptrend but Ichimoku Kinko Hyo if you look at the Kumo here it's in a range so actually this is the beauty of the Kumo here is that because um, you know you can identify uh, whether the market is on the trend or range just by looking at the angle you don't have to like look at all the candlesticks like patterns and everything just by looking at this uh, angle the Kumo you can simply identify whether it's in a range or not okay so this is is in a range you may feel like okay i think it's up because i see this part is moving up so isn't this an uptrend and to answer a question it's not this is in a range uh, because what i mean by uptrend is for example if i kind of go back to the chart here here we go this is what i mean by clear uptrend of kumo right here clearly moving up right like this but look at it right here this one right here is horizontal it's moving horizontally here right so again i am only showing the kumo here because i will be only talking about kumo today so that's why i am only sh showing that indicator but right here is the clear uptrend and after this right here it's in the range the kumo is in parallel it's in a range and after this so this is the range market right here and after this it became a downtrend pretty uh, clear enough right i think it's pretty simple i'm not really talking about some different like hidden like secret of uh, you know ichimoku kinko hyo here i try to be simple keep it simple here so i uh, just put by looking at the kumo just by looking at the angle you can identify whether the market is in a range or a trend uh, whenever you see the range market like whenever you see the kumo is horizontal you never trade you only take trades when the kumo is like moving up or down so you never take trade on this period and you never take trade on this period either and this is exactly what you want to trade and just to let you know that the kumo is actually 26 candlesticks ahead so you have to kind of drag all these to like 26 candles before so that it matches with the kumo uh, drawings so let me do this let me try to move everything here to 26 days ago watch this now so all right let me just measure the 26 candles 
it's kind of rough, but you, you, you know, you get the idea here. So 26 bars will be like here, right? I will just drag this red area to this yellow line here so that it matches, right, with the uh, 26 candles before. You see what I was doing? The Kumo is actually drawn here, like 26 candles ahead. When the Kumo is forming horizontal, this is not the market you're looking at. 26 candles before. And that's when you don't want to take trades. If I move back 26 candles before, it's going to look like this. And then you know exactly when not to take trades. You see, isn't it clear? I think it's pretty much clear, right? Um, the, when the Kumo is horizontal, the market is in a range. And when the Kumo is moving up like this, the market is moving up accordingly. So this is kind of one of the ways that you can look at the Kumo and actually take trades is that by looking at the Kumo, you can clearly identify if the market is in a range or in a trend. So now you know what I mean by not take trades here, right? Do not take trades on this place or this place because it's not really time efficient, right? We're not here to spend some time, right, on looking at the chart like whole day and trades, right? We're not here to do that. We have to let the time work for you. And to do that, to maximize it, Kumo is very helpful because we're all here to invest money into the market and get return right you don't want to uh, spend your time by looking at the chart all day long analyzing like you know lots and lots of you know pairs and um, you know you don't want to spend all day with your analysis you want to take trades right and to do that actually Kumo is very very effective to actually capture when exactly when the market is really time efficient all right, so again, when the Kumo is horizontal, you never take trades because it's not really efficient, time efficient. When the Kumo is moving up, that's when the market is time efficient and that's when you want to take trades so that you can maximize your profit as much as possible and you can truly let the time work for you. And let's say you're looking at this Kumo right here, right? Let's say you're looking at the Kumo. Just look at the Kumo only. Just disregard the candlesticks here. When you only look at the Kumo right here, is this uptrend or downtrend or range? Which one do you think? Is it uh, uptrend, downtrend, or range? All right, uptrend, 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 up, up, up. Okay, I see one range here. I see two range. Majority of the people says it's uptrend. And yes, it's uptrend. So trend, because the Kumo is moving up. It's clear that Kumo is moving up. Just keep it simple. Don't, I'm not giving you a trick questions here. Just keep it simple. Simply, that means the market is on uptrend, right? And now, again, this is not the market that you're looking at when the Kumo is moving up. Actually, Kumo is drawn 26 candlesticks ahead. So you're going to have to look back 26 candles before to plot exactly when the market was moving like that. This is horizontal, right? And right here, this is moving up slightly. Well, actually, technically, this is not correct drawing. Technically, this part right here is moving up, but this part is in a range, right? I think uh, to capture it, this is in a range. So just don't think about up Kumo or down Kumo, right? When it's in a range, whether it's uptrend, up Kumo or down Kumo, it's in the range, right? So this uh, white one, like a light gray, is the down Kumo. And this dark gray is up Kumo. But whether it's a down Kumo or up Kumo, when it's horizontal, it's in a range no matter what. Yeah, this is in a range. And this part right here is, this is moving down. So this is, market was in a trend. This is horizontal. Slightly moving up and horizontal again and moving up now, right? Before that, this is in a range here. And before that, it was in a range and that there was a spike in the market and that's why the Kumo is a very thin like a thread and kind of moving up here all right let me just go back 26 candles before again calculate 26 candles from here to like up to here right so at, at, at the tip of here 26 candles before the yellow line and let's go back 26 candles now looks like this you see how it matches with the the market so actually you can do this by your own too if you use mt4 you can actually write these squares and just put arrows like this and after you've done it you kind of go back 26 candles before so that you see exactly what's going on at that time when the Kumo was drawing. Yeah, this is a daily chart and actually Ichimoku Kinkohyo works the best in daily chart based on my own experience. You can start with uh, the daily chart. You can just bring up your pairs, whatever pairs are you're trading, even if it's a commodities like gold or whatever, you can just pull up and you can apply, you draw these boxes with the Kumo 
and you cannot go back 26 candles before so that you know exactly what's happening in the market. This is even the kids can do, right? So I'm sure you can do it too. It's pretty simple. Again, when the Kumo is moving up like this, the market is in a trend. And that's exactly where you're going to take trades. Uh, this is the very simple but a very good way to actually identify whether the market is in a range or in a trend. You can apply to other indicators like moving average or like a price actions like you can draw lines right of course uh, resistance support line or trend lines channel lines whatever you can draw all these lines or apply other indicators but if you want to be Ichimoku trader and if you want to use Kumo for your trading this is a way you can do you can just draw these boxes and you can kind of go back 26 candles before so that you know exactly when you want to take trades or not to be time efficient so and after you've done all these then you know exactly when you want to take trades or not so, everybody's clear so far? Just make sure. 